on, on, on Crenshaw, just in front of SpaceX uh, headquarters, there's, there's a giant hole. Um, and um, and I, I find holes, uh, holes in the ground exciting. Um, uh, you know, uh, I was discussing this with my girlfriend. She didn't find it that exciting. Um, but I, I thought it was really great. <laughs> um, so it's, it's, it's right there. You can check it out. And the, uh, so, so that's going to be the start hole for the, the tunnel boring machine. Um, and we're going to just try to figure out um, w what it takes to uh, improve uh, tunneling speed by, um, I, th I think somewhere between 500 and 1,000 percent is, I think, possible. Um, so if you apply sort of a limit of physics approach. Um, so that, so we'll, we'll see what the, what, what, how far we can get. So we're just sort of muddling along. We have no idea what we're doing. I want to be clear about that. <laughs> But we'll, we're going to get this machine, figure out, okay, take it apart. How do we um, make it go much faster um, while still being safe and not affecting people on, on the surface and, and all that? And, um, yeah, we'll see how much progress we can make. But I'm, I'm actually quite optimistic that, um, that tunneling can be improved by at least fivefold, maybe tenfold. And, um, and that's really key to, to a lot of technologies, uh, road tunnels, uh, hyperloop tunnels, train tunnels. June 11th, 1972, in the LA Times, the lead physicist for the Rand Corporation, he said that in 1972, the government had the technology to excavate tunnels across the United States and put maglev trains in that were capable of doing 10 to 14,000 miles an hour. Now, this is not science fiction. We have the capability to do it. These are US patents by Los Alamos National Laboratories talking about thermal nuclear boring machines that melt through rock, just like you're taking a knife through butter. I went to Bechtel in Las Vegas, Nevada, and put in subterrain, which is what they called one of these, a subterrain into their computer system. These are images of the subterrain being tested up at Los Alamos Scientific Laboratories. The actual boring tips get superheated and they melt through solid rock. There's no excavation of materials that are needed. The rock penetrates, cracks, and presses liquid molten glass up through a lining all the way around it. In the early 1970s, there are plans for a network of underground tube shuttles. There are tube shuttle systems leading out of the base. So we have these tunnels under the United States now. You're saying this is a reality. Absolutely.